Hello everyone, how's it going? So in this short video, we're going to compare the differences between the old Surface Pro and Surface Pro 2 pen against the new Surface Pro 3 pen. Let's get started. So the first thing you'll know is the old pen is made out of plastic. The whole body from the tip to the end eraser is all plastic. There is one button in the middle and this is also the place that sucks onto the Surface Pro 2 when you don't need it. The end is an eraser and that's about it. This new pen on the other hand has a completely different finish. The body is made out of aluminum. The tip and the tip surroundings is plastic. There are two buttons on the side, a clip, and another button on the back that triggers your OneNote. This pen feels way more premium than the previous version and it's a lot heavier as expected. This new pen also features a few batteries inside. Because this pen uses the Entrig technology instead of Wacom, it requires a quadruple A battery to operate the tip. Also, in this bottom end portion there is a Bluetooth module which operates the button to activate OneNote. This part has two button batteries within that powers that Bluetooth module. Of course, since the Entrick pen has two buttons, while the Wacom pen only has one button, the pens do operate a little differently. Let's start with the Entrick. So you write, of course, with the tip, using the lower button, you can erase the ink. And with the top button, which is the right click, you can press and hold, then select the text. And with the one button Wacom pen for Surface Pro 2, you ink with the tip, you erase with the butt end and you can use the button down here to select text in OneNote. As far as digital ink is concerned between Intrig and Wacom, I found both pens and both technology has some advantages and disadvantages. Let's talk about the Intrig first. One of the best features of this pen is the soft tip. So when you write on the glass surface, there is some resistance to it. It feels more natural. It feels like that you're writing on a piece of paper, which is fantastic. I also like the fact that when you draw lines to the edge of the screen, it will always follow you to the end, no matter how fast you're going. One of the disadvantages I found is that when you're just hovering over the screen, the pointer tends to lag behind quite more than the Wacom version. As for the Wacom pen for the Surface Pro 2, the tip is made out of plastic, so it's very hard and very slippery when you're writing on glass doesn't feel like a natural way and doesn't feel like you're writing on a piece of paper. Also, when you draw lines to the end of the screen, the faster you go, the line stops further away from the edge of the screen. So if I go slow, it stops closer. When I start to go faster, it'll end further away. 
One of the advantages is that the pointer does follow the tip with minimum lag. The two pens are not compatible with one another since one uses N-Trig while the other uses Wacom. So on the Surface Pro 3, only the Pro 3 pen would work, while the Pro 2 pen does nothing. It's a similar result with the old Surface Pro 2, where the Wacom pen works and the Intrig one does not.